Hey, I'm Joanna Chadwick of the Wichita Eagle and Varsity, Kansas.com, and I'm joined by Tony Adami, and we are going to be talking about high school basketball tonight from Tuesday, and Tony, you had the game of the night. Uh, yeah, I was at uh, East High. Uh, East improves to 8-0, 63-58 uh, win over Heights. Uh, Pack gym, really exciting game. Uh, East was led by Samaj A. Jones, scored 29 points, uh, and Xavier Kelly had 15 points and 9 rebounds, but most importantly... He had a dunk in the second half that was very reminiscent of the Jerry Stackhouse uh, North Carolina Duke dunk from a long, long time ago where he comes underneath the hoop. This dunk was so amazing they had to stop the game for a few minutes because the student section, most of them came onto the court. Uh, more importantly, like I said, they're 8-0. Heights put up a little bit of a fight at the end, but uh, there's a big gap between the two teams. Some other games around the city. Uh, South did come back and beat Capen in overtime. Jeremiah Hutzbest did a big uh, three-pointer to tie the game at regulation. Uh, Dawson Gunner, 14 points, 5 assists for South. They are really coming on strong. Uh, Carroll beat West, 77-53. Uh, Southeast beat Northwest, 88-76. And that game was actually 51-34 at halftime. So, you know, kudos to Northwest for coming back and making it a game. Uh, on the girls' side, South lost to Andover Central in the uh, GWAL ABCTL Challenge at Coke Arena. Comes back, beats a really good Cape and team, 42-32. Carroll beat West, Northwest beat Southeast. And Heights BD is 49-40. All right. Now, in the, in the area, I was out at May South, and it was an incredible atmosphere. Kind of the same thing that Tony would have experienced tonight, where the student sections are in full force, and May South and both Eisenhower, they had a just an incredible crowd. It was extremely intense. This is a rivalry where they don't like each other very much, and uh, it definitely showed, but it was an incredible game. Cole Coster, there are chance of MVP from the May South student section at the end of the game because he had 28 points, 17 rebounds. He had three block shots. The kid just went off five of eight from three-point range as May South beats Eisenhower for the first time. And also, how about Salinas Central and Mays? Jordan McNelly from Salinas Central gets an overtime dunk to win that game. At the buzzer. At the buzzer. It was a double overtime. That, to me, that's just unbelievable. I used to do that all the time. You used to do that all the time. Um, any Northwest grads out there who can <laughs> clarify whether that's true? <laughs> Got dunked on. <laughs> right. Uh, collegiate beat Circle 75-56. to 56, And the amazing thing about this game isn't so much that Collegiate beat Circle, but that there were eight collegiate players in double figures. That's phenomenal. Cameron Christian with 18. McPherson beats Bueller. Uh, May South. As I said, beat Eisenhower 55-46. And Cheney gets a 73-70 overtime win over Independent. On the girls' side, Andover Central continues its winning ways, beats Derby, Mason Stamp with 16. I tell you, this kid, I am just so impressed with her. She really handled herself well against Wichita South, and she continues it. Uh, Bueller gets a win over Mac, and I think that that's a, a really good win. Bueller just has one loss, and this is a team that I think we should be watching for. And Eisenhower beats May South 72 to 61. It was only Eisenhower's second win. There were so many free throws shot in this game. 37 by Eisen by May South, 41 by Eisenhower. Eisenhower's Mallory Miller 15 of 15 from the line. Jaden Damon 13 of 14. And Mays High gets a 62-40 win over Salina Central. Kieran Swenson with 22 points. Garden Plain beats Trinity, which is another good win. Noel Dooley with 15. Thanks so much for watching our recap from Tuesday night's basketball games. We hope to see you soon.